Later, two witnesses testified to having their cars stolen. He started out as young Ian Ross. <laughs> Away you go. Hello? Hello. And grew up to be Roscoe, the gentlemanly king of wit on the Today Show. Have a look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've spoken to that girl, you know, she said she saw nothing. But behind all the laughs, there was an experienced newsman. He's seeking permission for Dugan to sit behind him in the body of the court. Just two of the big stories he covered in almost 40 years at Channel 9 with the Granville Rail disaster. Closely examining a 90-foot section of track from the crash scene. And the Wally Mellish siege. But it is seven days now since the siege began and it's clear that it is going to go on, perhaps for a week perhaps even longer. There were fires too, and crime. Ian Ross reporting from Central Court. Then Ian moved into the news chair on the Today Show. It was a constant sparring match with hosts like Tracy Grimshaw and Steve Liebman. Finally found the right camera, Steve. So did I, Roscoe, thank you very much. <laughs> and a constant edgy repartee with Monty Dwyer. Now let's check out the weather. And here's Monty. <laughs> a whole new breed of cowboys. Well, seems a little unkind to me, Mont. I don't think cows were meant for riding, were they? They love it. No, they really do enjoy it. Yeah. They let you know, did they? Yeah, yeah. They enjoyed it. Mm. Have you when... ever ridden a cow? I have, as a matter of fact. Couple of... It's funny, they always... <laughs> Stand... <laughs> They always stand still until you try to get on. It was a breakfast of sharp humour and surprises. About a police investigation. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. Like the day Monty invaded oh, Roscoe's home trouble. live on air. Now that is an expensive painting. If you don't mind, put that there. <laughs> don't you reckon this looks a lot better, Roscoe? The space <laughs> we've created for you? Where's my table and chairs gone? <laughs> Roscoe might have started in TV journalism in a time of typewriters phones with dials and when brown suits and white jackets were okay but his humor and grace were timeless I uh, must compliment Roscoe on his tie this morning looks looks very very smart we okay. like that one Roscoe yes, that came off the ship that tie did it oh, right. Three for a dollar. <laughs> Roscoe decided to call it a day in 2001 we said goodbye the way TV knows best with fun and some tears Let me get this there. Mm. But just a few months later, Ian was called back to the Nine News Desk, helping out with our coverage of big bushfires around Sydney. Right behind me are fires that are burning out of control. Come on, boy, that stint jolted the Seven Network, who needed a Top Gun newsman at the helm, and they wooed Roscoe into heading up their main bulletin. News comes to you from Macquarie Fields in Sydney Southwest. But in 2009, after six successful years, it was time to retire for good. Now all of us in the TV business, and so many of you out there, are saying goodbye to Ian one last time. It's time for the news. <laughs> Here's Roscoe. Well, uh, Steve and Tracy, I'm very sorry. I wasn't quite ready. Oh, really? <laughs> what, did we, did we catch you? And Roscoe, neither were we. Peter Overton, Nine News.